What's going on, Libra? Welcome to your Scorpio full moon reading. So this is some great energy that we're surfing right now. Um, one of the images that came to mind for you, Libra, I was kayaking the other day and I had the images just applied to different signs. Uh, for you, while I was kayaking, I was meditating on feathers just floating on the water. Um, so just that, that subtlety, um, just a subtle power really. And then what came to mind was the idea of weighing your heart. There was the, you know, thinking, um, invoking some Egyptian mythology in terms of like when we step through portals and when parts of us we leave behind or we, you know, release things, um, we step into this weighing the heart. And if it was too heavy, what do we let go of? How do we make sure that our intentions are aligned and pure, uh, that kind of energy, um, and also then thinking about the density of feather, uh, feathers being lighter than the water and how that allows them to float. And then considering that in the context of 4D and making sure that we're staying in the present moment so that we can see ourselves in that float floating energy, that, that flotation energy that's very light. Um, and just considering as well the, the role of angels and, and higher beings around us with that in mind. And, you know, I thought as well about how feathers are light and, you know, that nature just knows that feathers are less dense than water. Like there's just this, this knowing, right. That produces, um, that produces what I saw as the feather floating. And I thought about, you know, this sink or swim idea, like this, this sink or swim urgency came to mind. And then just considering, I, I thought, what if instead of this urgency, we just considered our density, like, like lighter density, like four or five, D, five D and whether, while we're deciding whether to sink or swim, we forget that we're just floating, we forget that we're floating and maybe that's where we need to be right now. So maybe that's where we need to be. <clears throat> so spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? And actually, before I do that, I would like to invite the angels, my guardian angels, my spirit guides, protectors, teachers, and their healing energy to this space. And I ask that it is a safe and brave space that allows for the fullest expression of our light, humanity, ascension, and healing. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, spirit spirit what messages do you have for libra please what messages do you have for libra thank you so much woman of light there's that angelic being there's that angelic light <clears throat> spirit what other messages do you have for libra Falling lovers. I'm getting a little bit of divinely guided love here for you, maybe, Libra. Maybe, maybe. And then three to one. So as in three to one here, I'll show you. Three to one. So I'm getting this sort of um either awareness with the facility like with with angelic help, this awareness of our of our energy it could be falling in love. Like we have falling in lovers here, um, alongside the three to one card. So it's almost like this recognition of a kind of consciousness. We're going back. It's like, um, a sense of oneness. There could be an ending to some kind of separation in terms of relationship and not like, um, yeah, it's just the ending to a separation of any kind, uh, falling this, this kind of reminds me of feathers, right? Like this reminds me a little bit of that, um, so it's almost like something like falling, like falling, I'm hearing falling in love as like a feather falling on the water, just gently, this light density. Um, and, uh, also I think too, that there's like an, a component of, um, maybe some soul family to this where we've had, like, there's just this, this, I'm, I'm getting this pull of like, there's like a recognition here and there's that heart in there too. Um, now in terms of something that's not related to love, um, what this could be about is really just releasing. I, I also feel almost like this is like, we're, it's like singing a soul song. Like we're remembering a part of ourselves. We're remembering a part of ourselves. So that could be where you're coming from with that. Now I always read one of the cards here. Um, and what I will do is <clears throat> I kind of want to read the falling card. And so I will. <laughs> okay, falling. Don't worry. You may fear you are falling, but it's just your soul diving deeper into the ocean of bliss. 
Are you sensing parts of your life flying away from you out of your control as the momentum of your divine surrender takes over and becomes more powerful than the old adhesive between you and what no longer serves? Laugh, cry, celebrate and ponder. Whether it makes sense or not, you are like a perfectly ripe fruit falling from the universal tree, succulent and ready to be enjoyed for all that you are. If you wait any longer, this moment will be lost and you'll end up on the ground having to decay and go to seed and in order to start the whole process again. This is not so bad, but what a shame if your sweet nectar was not to be savored by a hungry world. You deserve to be declared the most delicious, juicy fruit that ever was. So fall. You'll end up exactly where you are meant to be. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my, my roommate's cat. <laughs> His life is just so hard when everyone leaves. Anyway, sorry, I'll continue on. This oracle contains a message for you. You are being called closer into divine union and into the fulfillment of your destiny now. It's safe for you to trust what is happening. Go with it. It might seem like you are being asked to take a leap of faith. It's the right timing for that. It's your time to give yourself in love without holding back anything of yourself. Wow. I'll read that last line again because it's beautiful. It's your time to give yourself in love without holding back anything of yourself. <clears throat> That's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Libra. Okay, so I'm going to pull from, let me do this here. Uh, I'm going to clarify with the uh, with the Light Seer's Tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? For the Scorpio full moon, please. Ten of Swords. I'm getting that you're walking towards something but like what's the away like the there's like a walking towards <laughs> I just heard the I just heard the sentence we don't talk about Bruno so like maybe there's something you're avoiding <laughs> oh my gosh oh my guides <laughs> uh we don't we don't talk about Bruno okay so um we're gonna talk about Bruno <laughs> we're gonna talk about Bruno Libra ah uh, yes Bruno um, so I, sorry. Um, I, I feel like there's a way that, uh, there's, <clears throat> let me pull the rest of these first. I have an idea or two or five, but ace of wands and the devil. I feel like this was a person. I'm hearing false flame, whatever that means to you. Oof. it could just I feel like there was somebody that restricted your passion it was res they restricted your passion and um, restricted your passion just in the sense that it sort of it made you forget that as much as we you know aim to listen and endeavor to listen to guides and, and angels and, and all of that we are part of the divinity that we commune with so it's almost like this this whatever this connection was or whatever this disappointment or thing was really made you forget the essence of your own divinity, the essence of your own creative power and potential, your ability to manifest. And this, again, this sort of, it made you forget that you're connected to everything. It made you forget the interconnectedness of everything. So I get that this is almost a person. It could be an earth sign. There's, uh, this is Capricorn, but um, yeah. there's some way that you are really restricted here. You're leaving it behind. And this is where I think that your angels are really helping you right now. So this could be guardian angels. This could, I'm hearing ancestors. This could be, um, you know, angels that you're working with. Uh, I'm hearing Gabriel. Yeah. Five of pentacles. Dang. Someone really hurt you, Libra. But I feel like this five of pentacles was you hanging on to that in some way. Or fear just kind of creeping in and forgetting how powerful you are. Just for a moment. Like, it, I think I don't, this isn't like a permanent thing. But I feel like at that time even, like this is more where I'm feeling like the snapshot of you, you are now. But this is like the story of the crows in the background there. Um, wow. Wow. But I feel like you need to know that you are protected more than you know that whole time. 
You are more protected than you know. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra for this Scorpio full moon? I'm, I'm really getting strongly that there's some like remaining ties from this situation. And it could just be like, so this is a weird example, but I'll go there anyway. Um, so I thought I would be clever and eat an apple while I was driving home from work one day. And clever because I sneezed with a mouthful of apples. So it went all over the inside of the windshield. <laughs> so <laughs> it was like, and I, th I think of the pieces of the apple as like it, like I, you know, you can pull over and I cleared much of it and then gave it a proper wash when I got home. But it was like these pieces that just went everywhere. And I feel like there's like pieces of your heart that just exploded everywhere in a certain manner of speaking and way of being. And I think that this is sort of what we're, what you're clearing off right now. You're clearing away. Forgive the random visual. I saw it in the devil's hair here, these pieces. Right. And that reminded me of the apple. <clears throat> now, you know, <laughs> um, falling. So spirit, can you tell me about this falling here? You're clearing off your windshield though. That's really what I'm getting here too, is like, this is just like making sure that your windshield is clear because there's something, um, there's something on the horizon for you here. I think it's like a recognition could be a soul recognition, uh, could be, I mean, lovers falling and three to one are here. So like some kind of coming together and um, union of some kind. The magician, king of wands, six of swords. I think you had to make a choice about something, Libra. I think you had to make a choice about something. I just heard, should I stay or should I go by the clash? And I just saw the judgment card coming out. Wow. So this is very clear to me. Um, so I have magician, king of wands, six of swords. Um, I, I feel like maybe there was a manifestation that you moved away from. Um, but this also tells me that you're, so there's two storylines coming through. There was a choice you moved away from someone. The choice to me is coming because of this situation here. So there was some kind of choice. But what I'm getting more is that you're in a manifesting power, but there's a way that you don't necessarily trust it because of the things that you've had to leave behind before. Uh, the situations that you may have had to leave behind that made you doubt yourself and it made you like doubt whether you had it in you, made you question yourself. Um, I think the Six of Swords is also coming through in this capacity as like, um, different travel, but this is also progress too. So I think that you've made progress generally speaking. Sorry, several things are coming to mind here. Um, Libra. Um, I think it's like making progress and believing in yourself a little bit too, because I get that this really took it out of you, this situation, whatever this was, whoever Bruno is to you took it like took it out of you in the sense that it made you really doubt whether you were in this power in this magician and king of wands energy it made you forget your eternal self and you were kind of in this place right but this is also i think to me this is more of a, um, a progress card in terms of this situation and you're i think that this is you're gonna see that this is real progress um because i get the six of cups here which is kind of like a looking back and reflecting like you're gonna see how far um, how far you've come i know a couple people have mentioned stuff like that but you're really seeing how far you're coming or co have come um, and I get the impression that this gives you, I'm hearing it gives you, you a little bit of life. It gives you a bit of life, Libra. Um, I, but this is where the decision and the choice came from too. Like there was maybe the, so the energy is thick. Like it's like, it, it's like I'm looking into molasses. Um, and that could be because you really don't want to talk about Bruno. Um, but I don't know how that has woven through all of this, but I get that there was a decision made and it could just be a reframing of the past. Like you're looking back at the progress you've made and you're choosing, you're choosing actively to see a part of yourself, um, less as the six of wands, um, and more uh, uh, six of swords and more as the king of wands. Cause you can see after something really harmful or, or 
hurtful happens, you can see yourself in this energy, right? Or you can see yourself in this energy. When you you step into, you're either moving towards something that fits you better or you're moving away from something that hurts you. And I think that there's two ways that you could see a situation and you're choosing this one, which is great. Because I think the magician card is here so close to and in proximity to the king of wands because it's saying this is the energy that's going to really propel you far. This is taking you forward. This is why I was reading the progress on this card here. So it's almost like um, this choice, this decision is is one that's allowing you to reframe the past in a way that benefits you, but not benefits you just for the sake of itself. Like it's not like, oh, I'm just doing this thing because it's nice and fluffy. It's like it's reframing the past so that there's some way that you're able to um, to give of yourself. I'm hearing to give of yourself. Lovers, Ace of Swords. I, that's true. To give of yourself. Oh, in love. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And Temperance came out. So that's Sag. So the Lovers card here. And then we have the Ace of Swords that came out. And it's funny because the Ace of Swords, the way it was laid down here, it looked like that a little bit. So it just, it's almost like it looks like the S curve. Um, nonetheless, this is, I think that there's a way that what it is that you're able to welcome in or that you are welcoming in is, um, it's not just like, it's not just about truth for you. I think that this is like a bit of a breath of fresh air compared to the restrictive, it's almost like constricted passion. And I'm not talking about like sexually or it's not like that. It's like, I'm, I'm feeling this like expansion out and there was someone that was just like it was like a wet towel like a towel that had just been put away wet like it just it it started to I, I don't know like something about that um but I feel like again this this angelic intervention right this angelic intervention for you on your behalf um, at your behest, I heard as well. So you could be working with angels actively right now. Um, but this temperance card tells me that there's some way that there is balance here, whether that's through the speaking of your truth or, or alternatively, it is uh, balance that's present um, because you're able, like the, it's almost like the opening of your arms to embrace something new is the breath of fresh air. It's not the person. It's you in that energy. It's you in that energy. The Hierophant. Knight of Cups. Yeah. It's something that's... I get, like, long-term. There's the Eight of Wands that I picked up on. Um, was that earlier? No, that might have been another reading. But Eight of Wands. So I feel like this is... Um, when things come into balance, look at what like, and, and the thing is though, this is the energy of balance. So this is really about magnetizing. So this release that we're doing over the Scorpio full moon, I really see that working in, in your favor here. And we have the Hierophant, the King of Cups and the Eight of Wands, um, which is almost like, this is like that heartfelt offer. Um, but I'm also getting a little bit of, um, being initiated into a kind of chase being initiated into a chase what does that mean libra yeah oh i see thank you so much spirit it's um letting your uh, let letting yourself pursue and be in pursuit or be pursued um, I think that this was like clearing the blockage in your energy. Cause I was like the chase. I'm like, ew, why, why are we chasing? Um, but it's like, this is, um, this is that energy of balance that's coming back into balance. That's, I get it. Uh, allowing yourself to, um, to show interest and tell people like to show interest in others, but then also to receive interest, to receive the energy of interest from others. Um, this is something that is a long-term, that um, it has long-term prospects. Um, what I'm also seeing on the Hierophant here in terms of work is just that it's something that's like, it's a job that you stay for. You know how sometimes we take jobs where we're like, well, you know, it's just going to be there for like a little while. It's fine. This is like a job that you're going to, it's not going to be just like a, a pit stop. It's going to be like a, a career, 
um, if this is work related for you, Libra, like this is going to be a career. You are making a career of your joy, which is excellent because you should. And you're also finding something in this way too, that's in significant balance. Like this is very balanced for you. Very balanced. So on three to one, we have the king of cups. It's almost like this coming together for you. This like it's I'm thinking that this is like a unity consciousness or awareness that you're working with, or there's some way that you're connecting with other people through this. Um, I don't know how to word what I'm trying to say. Um, it's like, it's a way it's a, it's tapping into that field of awareness that connects all of us together. Right. Let me do this here so that you can see the cards. There we go. Um, there's this field that you're tapping into that's giving you access to all of this beautiful energy. And this is you showing up emotionally available. This is you showing up able to, um, speak on your emotions, able to talk about them, even when they scare you, right? That quote, uh, speak your voice, uh, speak your mind, even when your voice shakes, that kind of thing. Um, not because there's any kind of voice, like need for a voice shaking. Um, but it's just that there's, there's significant emotional healing that's gone on. There's definite healing here. Yeah. The tower. I feel like it, so I get the impression that this really, like you really doubted yourself. You really have been doubting yourself, Libra, in terms of, um, not just the, the length, like how far you've come, but also in terms of, um, in terms of what's possible, because the King of Cups doesn't just like run to every single opportunity for emotional investment. This is like, this is a more mature waiting energy of this is something that's worth my time and I'm willing to wait for it. And I have the wisdom to know that there's certain time that is not, it's not wasted ever. And I think the tower is here. Uh, I, I think this is more of a an internal transformation. Like I get this to be your insides more so. And rather than, it's almost like the tower, <laughs> the tower in reverse, not in reverse in the card, but you know how they have movies and they play it in reverse, like they play it in rewind and then you see everything being put back together. That's what I saw in this card more so is like you're putting that it's like it's it's restoring what fell, but in the best kind of way right? This isn't a breaking apart of things. This is you coming back into your power and the reassembling of these disparate pieces. That is a beautiful, I have never, I have never interpreted the tower that way or seen it that way. So Libra, kudos to you. <laughs> kudos to you. Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Eight of Cups, more, this is more of the leaving behind energy. I get the impression here that you're really leaving behind the storyline that it, that something broke you or something like it not broke you, but like that something really hurt you. Like it, it hurt you, but it's the way that you've been holding on to it, the way that you've been holding on to it, right? Like there's luggage there. It's the way that you've been carrying it, Libra. Something's shifted. And it's almost like what was luggage and like heavy to carry now become the seeds for a new start. Right? What was luggage now becomes the seeds planted for some kind of new beginning. New beginning yet to be. But this like this beautiful like regenerative tower regenerative tower like I almost get the butterflies being towered into life as opposed to something falling apart a constructive tower I don't I have no idea Libra wow I could sit in this energy like all day long that's so good it's just like possibility Oof, I have like big goosebumps queen of pentacles yeah Queen of Pentacles. 
Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there's so much here. There's so much good here. It's like an, an embarrassment of riches. Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. It's like an embarrassment of riches. Like in the Seven of Cups is typically read by people as options and all of that stuff. But I see this as more so like clarifying the Queen of Cups because it, it put the Queen of Cups or Queen of uh, Pentacles down and then the Seven of Cups came out. This is like so much good that you don't like there's it's like. <laughs> it's just, you're, I heard I keep hearing my cup runneth over Um but there's just so much good that it's like, it's almost like you can't believe it, but you need to believe it, right? The tower, it's like a regenerative tower. And then this 10 of pentacles is like the penulti penultimate, I, oh my gosh, that's, this is like the ultimate um, legacy energy, investment energy. This is commitment, right? This is like, I see this as a marriage card. Um, I also see this as like the family card, um, long-term investments and commitments, um, you know, and, and like this bigger, this thing that's bigger than you right? This thing that's bigger than you. Mm -hmm. It's almost like this is the wholeness. This is the wholeness that the tower has been regenerated into. Like this is where it is. This is where it's, where it's at. Like the pieces got put back together into this. There's a lot of healing here, Libra. A lot. I'm going to read that line to you again because it just came to mind again. Um, it might seem like you are being asked to take a leap of faith. It's the right timing for that. It's time to get, It's your time to give yourself in love without holding back anything of yourself. Yeah. I'm going to pull from the chakra deck here just to get some more insight for you, my darlings. <sighs> Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra for this Scorpio full moon, please? Self-expression. See, this is the passion. This So remember how I said that this, it felt like this constricted passion, self-expression. This is like Juan's energy to me, self-expression. Anyways, the passion felt in me cannot help but be expressed as I use my voice to put my message, wisdom, and teaching out into the world. What I have to say is important and I will say it. I now make myself heard as my heart and soul express through my, uh, my body, eyes, and voice. I speak up. Wow, that's beautiful. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? Okay, hold on. These are not shuffling well. They're a bit on the awkward side in terms of size, so. Instinct. Ooh, instinct on the falling. I allow my senses to fully experience the physical world and I trust my instincts. I connect to my deepest sense of self for balanced guidance and truth. I release all fears and listen to the wisdom of my ancestors through the resonance of my body. I sense. That's really, really, really lovely, actually. Yeah. Some ancestor messages here. Dang. This goes pretty deep for you, Libra. This goes a little bit deep. It's not bad. It's great. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? inward revolution on lovers I, I just heard you have to let love change you 
not in a bad way though. Like there's, uh, there's a book I read, um, a couple years ago that I, I've, um, been rereading and it's like something about like, do I have to give up me to be loved by you or something like that? But it's, so it's not like change in that sense. It's not change in that sense. It's like this inward revolution of like love changes us because the light of it doesn't leave anything untouched and no stone goes unturned under its grace right like that's how it's transformative and in terms of um like if this is just work or creativity related um the things that we want to accomplish the things that 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 we are passionately involved in and work towards they change us by virtue of us doing them because it pulls this part of us to the light that we can't help but be changed by, right? Have you ever worked on a project that you've just been so excited for? Um, for example, I used to be chairperson of a pride group. Um, and, and I would put on, like, this is for a city of, like, now it's almost, uh, I think, 800,000 people in the city upwards of or something like that. Like, it's high, uh, maybe six or seven. I'm not sure, but my numbers are bad. It's fine. Um but I used to be the chairperson of a pride group and every year organizing this thing would be so exhausting. Like for July, I was a ghost <laughs> to most of my friends, but I just loved doing it. I loved putting it together and seeing community come and, and find a place where they can be themselves um, as uh, two SLGBTQ plus people. Um, and it just, it lit me up to do it. Right. And it's like, it, it changed me every year that I did it and did work like that. It changes you because it pulls this part out of you that is so, it, it's so aware of both the, the preciousness and the fragility of life, but then it connects you to the bigger part of yourself in the process. So it's like this sense of like this inward revolution, like doing what you love changes you, um, doing what you love changes you. So and then this is the Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection deck by Mike Dooley. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra for this Scorpio full moon, please? I'm seeing like an inflatable pool ring, like one of those donuts. <laughs> I don't know why. Most of the lakes around here are way too cold to swim in still, so. I mean, like, if you're brave enough, maybe not, but. Turn on your love light. Yeah. Let yourself shine a little bit, Libra. It's almost, I got the image of, like, turning on the porch light for someone for when they come home. Like, for when a loved one comes home. Like, they're excited to, like, they, it's like. Yeah, I don't know. It's just such a sweet gesture. Like I'm a I'm a I'm a sucker for the small things and I got this image of like turn on your turning on the porch light um because someone was coming home. <sighs> Prepare to be astounded. I suppose so, Libra. I suppose so. <laughs> and I'll pull from the Miracles Now deck to close this reading out for you, Libra. Have you ever been changed by something or someone you love, Libra? Keep thinking about that inward revolution. We never expect to be changed, do we? It just kind of happens. And then we get into this reflection place and then we're like, damn, that really did grow me. That did, I did grow. I did expand. And gratitude, right? I think that's what love does. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I love it when spirit does this. I let my intimate relationships be my greatest learning devices for spiritual growth and healing. <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. I think this is also because it fell here. To me, this is a little bit about perspective and holding perspective that the times that it didn't work out are not about regret or feeling bad. The times that didn't work out were because there was something working out that goes far beyond what you what you felt left behind or slighted by. P 
peace is in my pulse. I feel like whatever this opportunity is that's coming your way, Libra, because it is very apparent to me that that's here. Um, it's going to make you feel peace. There's something really peaceful about this for you. Um, I'm almost hearing peace as like a heartbeat. Like it's like this recognition There's a sense of peace that you'll get from this. Peace and like a rhythm. Mm -hmm. Well, Libra, this was your Scorpio full moon reading. If this resonated, please like and subscribe. It helps me to grow this channel and to continue to do this. So thank you so much for your time today. Uh, wherever this finds you on the time space continuum, morning, afternoon, or night. I hope it finds you very well and wrapped up in as much light as your heart can handle. And then some. All right, Libra, have a wonderful, have a wonderful day wherever you are. Take care.